Suddenly this is kind of falling apart on me. I was doing so good. Am I gonna do it? I gotta kill it. Come on, kill Gertie. Think about all the stupid things we could do with a game like this. There's a million and one power-ups for me to play with like this one. I have no idea what this does, but I'm gonna have fun with it. Also, whatever that is. Hopefully the bomb doesn't blow that up. What is this? I can wiggle it. Okay, moving on. That's nice. And let's try the angry door. That actually did damage. Good to know. And... Oh, I can get to it. Good news. Okay, we got pills. We can swap pills and... That's it. But we'll take the purple one. It's definitely going to be a bit of a learning curve trying to get used to all the enemies. But with a little bit of my stupid luck and persistence, we'll be there in no time. A match. Tastes like burning. I've just realized what my little power-up does. If I shoot in one direction for long enough, he charges up and then he goes... Which is interesting. And we got him a friend. What is this? Sick. Oh, it replaces my match though. I don't know what the match does anyway, so we'll take the new thing. I would much rather have items that just stack, but I guess we just don't have that luxury. It's been six rooms and I've almost lost all of my health. And I just lost the rest of it because I put out a fire apparently. Why are things so dangerous in this game? Now I lost my little helper and I kind of like that one. Uh, huh? Okay. Great. Can't tell if this is a puzzle floor or a troll floor. That goes to the boss, but we need to explore the rest of this before we get there because I haven't found any power-ups yet. And I like my power-ups. I want like a million of them. A gold key? I've never found one of these before. I'm not sure what that does. Today's power-up is a black golf ball. Orbiting tears and range up. Interesting. That doesn't really seem very helpful because now I can't aim anymore. Oh. I should have been putting out torches this entire time. Although that one killed me in the last one. I put these ones out accidentally, but they healed me. And all I can do with this is play air hockey. So that's fun. And I can't get to the chest because I don't have any bombs left. Now I could buy a bomb if I had three cents, but I've got two. So this is really not shaping up to be a super awesome run. But we're going to go with it anyway because I've got orbiting tears. Let's do this. Duga flies. I have to fight you with orbiting tears because I have the worst power up in the world, but we'll make this work. I wonder if I can get rid of those. We'll find out later. So far this one doesn't actually seem too bad because they just launch flies everywhere. Flies aren't really a big deal to me because I've got my tears going all over the place. Doing a pretty good job of fighting things. The problem is though that it is super super hard to aim because I'm just not aiming. The tears just kind of go out around me in an orbit so I've got to stay within range of the boss. And the boss is dead, now it's time to kill the flies. My reward for defeating the most annoying boss with the most annoying power up is a dog treat. HP up. I get more health. And I seem very thrilled about that. I've got to get through seven levels now before I hit the boss. Might have even been eight. I'm not really good at counting this early. If only I had a large stack of bombs, I could actually get to some of those fun looking items. I honestly hate this power up so much, the orbiting tears, that I'm just pretty much going to do that. There's no way I could use that. Let's just start right from the beginning and hope I don't get that power up ever again. This one looks better. Piercing shots. Yeah, already we're off to a better start. And I look amazing. I'm going to try and take this run pretty seriously because piercing shots could actually be pretty powerful, I think. If I get a few other power-ups, like more damage or faster attack speed, we'll really be laughing. You know, I could probably steal these items. I don't think the shopkeeper would mind very much. He doesn't seem too attentive. That's kind of interesting. We have a golden poop. I'm just not really sure how to get to it. I don't know if my bombs will blow those up. A wealth of answers. I like the sound of that. I just don't know what it does. Can I blow those up? Hmm, that kind of sucks. I bet that's something good. I probably just need some kind of super power up to do it. And I don't think I'm going to have one of those as early on. Now we have a floating poop. We'll see if we can get a hold of that. And spiders come out of those. Everything wants to hurt you. I really got to pay attention in this game. Anytime you do anything, you can expect enemies or damage. Give me that. Toxic blast. Plus five bombs. Done the first level already. I'm getting good at this. This one's not too hard. He mostly just hops around and tries to shoot you like that. All you gotta do is pay attention to when he's about to attack, and you'll be fine. And Monstro is about to die thanks to my piercing shots. Extra penetration, that's what I'm good for. Oh, a mushroom, what does this do? All stats up. Not sure what stats it's talking about, but I'll take it. Level 2 starts me with this. What do we got? Big beautiful fly. Wow, look at the size of that thing. That's gonna confuse me though, I'm gonna think that's an enemy the whole time. And next question is, does that actually do anything? Oh, this looks dangerous. Alright, we're gonna skip through this room. And deal with these. I maybe should be blowing more stuff up, but I'll worry about that after I get a little further into the level. I don't want to waste any of my bombs yet. That has two keys to unlock? That might be a problem then. Did my fly just blow up? I think it blew up and took everything with it. Oh, I kind of miss it. Oh no, it's back. Okay, I guess it blows up and kills things like a bomb. 
which is fun. Yeah, that little fly thing following me around is actually way overpowered. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but it seems to blow up every once in a while and kill like everything. Before we get too far away, let's run all the way back to that locked room. It's got to be good if it had two locks on it, right? Or, you know, maybe not. Oh, these rooms make me nervous. I don't know what anything in this game does. There's another heart, which I don't need because I'm awesome. I could go grab that key for some damage. Actually, I can just go like this. Oh, I didn't even grab it. Well, that's embarrassing. Get the key this time. And we're mostly healed. Also, what happened to my head and where did this come from? Every time I walk somewhere, something new happens and I don't know what to do about it. And this room looks like it might kill me because look at it. I'm just trying to keep up with anything I can do with this. Okay, let's just get out of this one. That was way too much damage for such a simple room. Somehow I lost my piercing attack and also my fly changed into this thing. I'm not sure how that happened, but I got a pretty big downgrade in a bunch of stuff and I don't know what to make of that. And instead of going back to that nightmare block room, we're just going to fight Larry Jr. here and hope for the best. Larry Jr. really wasn't too problematic until I killed one of them and then they turned into a bunch of little ones. Those are actually more trouble than the big one. Because for the most part, he was pretty predictable. All right, one more thing to kill. Ow, as long as it doesn't kill me, that was close. We'll be okay. And we got more power-ups, moldy bread. Which is a power-up. We've got five power-ups total. I just don't really know what any of them do. They seem to have a weird effect once they combine with everything. But I look like this now. These are the fires that seem to be dangerous. I was standing right here doing nothing and I got attacked by something. I assume it was the fire. What keeps hitting me? He's something shooting me and I don't know what it is. Is it the fires? I got my heart back, but I don't know what to make of that. And I died to some idiots throwing bones at me. I wasn't even recording because I was like, this is no big deal. Nothing could possibly go wrong here. I lost all my items. Only had five of them anyway. I liked them at first, but then they turned weak. I don't know why. Clearly, I have a lot to learn, but I am committed. I will make it to the boss. We will defeat it. I just need the right power-ups and to stop being stupid. Okay, I now have blue flies following me. I went to hit the record button, but the flies flew at me at the same time, so I bumped my coffee and kind of spilled it everywhere too. So that's how my day's going. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like people that spill coffee, because I've been doing it more and more lately. Is this what I think it is? Do we do it? Give me the power up. Get the heart back right away anyway, so it rewards me. One coin, one whole cent. Probably should have gone to this room first. Bloody friend. Okay, I have a bloody little friend following me. Hopefully it's actually useful. I have so many friends in this game, not all of them are helpful. Oh, he has a trail of blood that follows me around. I wonder if that does something to enemies. Okay, Larry's pretty uh, easy to beat, mostly because of my little blood trail helper. Yeah, look, I hardly had to do anything as long as Larry went into the blood trail. Range up. Okay, so I can shoot a little further. This is shaping up to be pretty good. As long as my little helper doesn't morph into something stupid, I think we'll have this one in the bag. What do you suppose this is? Uh-oh. I have a power-up that's just called Uh-Oh. I got rid of the other one. What does this one do? Wish granted. You want Wish granted or Uh-Oh? I want Wish granted. I really want luck on my side today. This is the kind of room that nightmares are made of. Very limited mobility. These stupid hopping things can hop right over the wall whenever they want and I can't move. Ow. On top of all that, I don't even have a single bomb to get to that damn chest. So let's go find one. I just found this. Petrified poop. It feels lucky. I'm actually going to look up what that does, because if it does boost my luck, I'm taking it. I understand petrified poop increases drop rates from poop by 50%. So I'm going to take that. I'm not even going to look up what any of the old ones do. I like the sound of that. Now, if I could just find a few keys, this floor might actually be pretty good, because there's lots of stuff I could be getting. Oh, I guess the blood doesn't work on things that fly. Not sure if this is qualified as a mini boss or not, but I should... Okay, I'm going to start paying attention and defeat this now. There we go, we got a key. All I did was sacrifice two hearts to get it. Not worth it, by the way. Unless... What does this do? Friendly fly! Okay, that might actually be worth it then. Would be nice to get some hearts back, but one thing at a time. I guess it is a small consolation that I am about to fight a boss with one heart, so probably gonna die and restart anyway. So it is Monstro. I can defeat him without taking any damage usually. Uh, of course, now that I've made that claim, I'm gonna take damage right away and die. The blood thing does work out pretty good though because he tends to land where I've been a lot and if there's blood underground he lands and discontinually takes damage kind of like that. We managed to defeat him without taking any damage and we got one of these. Range and luck up. Ooh I do like the extra luck. Between my two luck items it should be all uphill from here. Downhill? I don't know what's supposed to be the good one in this case. Golden poops? I can't get to them though can I? I could probably reveal their items. Lots of coins. I guess goldens probably give money and money. Boy I wish I could get over there. Kind of hoping for more creatures that walk underground where I can do more damage to them. These flying creatures are a lot harder to kill. Look at this room. I don't think I've ever even seen these enemies before. So great. I don't think I took any damage so far though. 
As long as I'm staying away from them, I seem to be okay. I thought I was going to die for sure at first, though. My reward for this difficult room was two cents. Now, if I could find a store, I might be able to buy something and actually feel like I have a fighting chance again. If we blow up mushrooms, we get nothing. But we released the bomb, so we got our bomb back. Really sad I can't get to those still. But I haven't found a store yet anyway, so I'm not really missing out that bad. I think I can actually reach these. No. No, I can't. I had high hopes for a moment. I really thought I could get those. Think of all the power-ups I could be having. New item time. What do we got? Daddy's love. Daddy long legs. I'm not really sure what daddy's love does, but we'll take it. I'll take anything I can get right now. Oh. Okay. That's helpful. If it's going to come down and crush enemies, I'll absolutely take that. Hopefully my new daddy long legs power is going to come in handy. We're fighting this thing. Okay, the daddy long legs is hitting it, so that's nice. Wow, this is going to be a nightmare to fight. Let's just go all in and try and kill this thing very quickly. Because I don't know how to deal with it. Okay, we're done. Daddy long legs, big help. Glad we could have you. What does this do? Luck up. We're going to have so much luck. We're getting all this luck. We're finding all these items we can't reach, though. Or maybe not as lucky as I thought. I would assume the bottom right one is luck. It looks like a clover and it's only two. I could be wrong, but we should have three items to boost our luck. This room might be the end of me, legitimately, because there's a lot going on. Yeah, I, I just, I can't keep up. When there's four things suddenly attacking me, I'm doomed. Well, that sucks. I was shaping up to be a really good run. I had good power-ups. I was just getting really bad luck with all the rooms, enemy-wise. Which is kind of funny because I had better luck than I've ever had before. But for now, I'm going to apply the undermine strategy. If I don't get good power-ups on the first floor, I'm going to restart until I get the ones I want. New run? Projectile protection. That might actually be pretty good to help keep me safe. Projectiles really are the only thing that do a lot of damage to me. The enemies themselves I tend to stay away from, but it's those rooms that are kind of the bullet hell rooms. Those are the ones that get me. I'm liking this floor already. There's lots of healing in that room I was just in, so I can sacrifice some to go in this room. Where I get two chests full of a pill and a pill. I don't know the difference between these. I'll take the red one. Is there like a big source of money I don't know about? I always get these stories, but I never have enough to get anything. We're defeating Larry for the billionth time. We get belly button. What's in there? I don't know. What is in there? Does it just give us more items? No, never again. I don't know what any of these do. So what does the red poop do? Nothing? Looks like nothing. Joker. Or the red pill. I'll take the Joker. All well, the bombs just went off in this room. Kind of chain reaction, but they opened up a secret in the wall. I don't think I've found one of those yet. So, what's in here? More buttons. And that guy. This one? Hearts. And this one? Enemies. Okay, I got hearts for going in the room. Can I put it on fire? I'm going to be smart for once and take only the heart I need, leaving the other one here in case I need that later. No way, it's just what I always wanted. A circle. First charge shot. Oh. I don't know if that's good or bad. Eh, it's kind of annoying to have to use. It does seem to be pretty powerful though. It's just going to be annoying if there's a lot of enemies to have to deal with. And we got some kind of a mini boss. So, good news, we're going to get used to our new power-up right now. Oh, this is going to be a very annoying boss to fight with this power-up. Yeah, already this is turning into a complete disaster because I can't just spam attack like I want to. I've got to slowly pick my shots. Idiot is now dead. We got a power up. Reusable ranged bomb. Well, fine. I'll take that. I would rather have another passive ability because thinking is a troubling for me. Another room that might be the end of me because there's too many enemies and I can't use my attacks properly. Yep, there we go. I'm dead. I finally got a run that might work out for me. The one downside to this one is I have remote control attack now, which is kind of counterproductive, but kind of works sometimes. It's a double-edged sword. I think this is the one where I'm going to beat it, though. It's just kind of that rooms like this are really annoying because I have to control my orb while also controlling myself and not taking damage. Luckily, I do have enough little helpers and everything following me around that they're helping uh, mitigate some of the damage. Found another mini boss, and I'm actually pretty happy about that because this one's not too hard to kill and mini bosses drop power-ups. I want all the power-ups that ever existed. And this one's not too bad because I can just sit back and do that. They only dropped a coin though. Not really what I was hoping for. And then you hit a room like this where you have no room to maneuver. Your orb is slower than the things flying around. So you're pretty much just basing it on luck. Hopefully these don't run into me. I guess my orb was slightly faster than them. But you see the point? A room like that's very hard to deal with. What does my spacebar power do? Okay. I found a power up that has me jumping. 
So cool, I'll be able to clear those gaps that I've been wondering about and probably also jumping myself into trouble. Summons bombs, I'd rather have the jumping. Bombs also sounds dangerous. Another Larry room and this one is terrifying because I feel like he's going to come my way at any point and I can't really catch up to him with my orb. Okay, never mind. Oh shoot, that's got to be good luck, right? Item snatcher. Uh huh, great. I mean, I guess I can probably get items from across gaps and stuff. If there were any on this floor, I would be thrilled with that. Is that an item? Can I snatch that? Can I jump that? Oh, I can make it over here finally. So let's blow everything up. Hmm, maybe should have seen what he had first. Oh, the items slowly draw into me. I get it. And I actually really needed that health. I'm going to have a boss fight pretty soon. Okay, we got a mini boss fight now. Greed. We should have lots of coins. Lots of coins, but I took quite a bit of damage. That wasn't worth it. I do have 36 coins, but I haven't really found any stores or good power-ups lately anyways. Here I was thinking this would be the run. We're going to go fight the boss who got one heart to do it with. And I don't know what Chubb is. This is Chubb, and Chubb spawns all these quick little creatures that run around. And this is probably going to be the end of me because, yep, I just can't. I can't deal with all that. I can't focus on where my orb is and where myself is. I may have found myself a winning run. Mostly because of that little guy that looks kind of like me but isn't me. That's called a scapegoat and it draws all the damage on a lot of these floors. So I can mostly just do this. Even the boss will just attack the scapegoat while I sit over here and shoot it. Occasionally it will aggro back to me but for the most part I don't have to do much. Let the uh, little thing do all the work as long as it's closer to the enemies it gets the attention. Other than that I don't really have a lot of great power ups. My teardrops are pretty basic just regular shooty ones so that's kind of nice in a way. Not overly powerful but this will be an easy run. I also have healing for killing enemies. Every four or five enemies I kill, I get a little bit of healing. And that works out very well for me because I take a lot of damage. In fact, I've got such a good setup at this point, I could actually get healing from this boss. If I just stay killing these little things for long enough, he'll keep spawning them. I could just keep healing like this. Let's finish him right now. Kill the little thing. Maybe get some healing from that. Off we go. Easy. So we're halfway to the boss. Also for those enemies that spawn, whoops, little flies like that, they can just spawn flies endlessly and I'll just kill them. I can heal that way. So this run should be pretty much a sure thing as long as I don't run into any weird bosses. Or also rooms like this that are a complete nightmare to deal with. These spiders are shooting things out in all directions and they're very tough to kill and making everything very hard to dodge. I survived that room, but that was alarmingly hard to do. I basically lost all my health and now I've only got one hit left. So I'm actually going to incorporate my little fly spawning technique until I'm fully healed. I'm going to sit here until I have full health. And there we go, back to full health. All I need is a room like this to do it. So this should be a good one. And for some reason this room also dropped me a power up. And on this floor we have some kind of super arcade. Not really sure what any of these do, so I don't know if I want to touch them or not. Can I get that coin without touching those? Do I want to play? I've never seen these ones before. What does that do? Have you seen the exit? Okay. Helpful, but not really. Eh, one more spin. My coins might be good for something eventually, so I don't want to waste them. I'm now being chased by a purple creature called Lust, and I don't know what that was, but it showed up for a minute. That looks like the final boss that I fought last time. Not sure if that was supposed to be helping me or not. One thing I do know is that I do not want the purple creature called Lust to catch me. Well, that was, uh, great. This is going to be another one of those rooms that's going to be very, very hard to deal with. Just based on the enemy types, because I'm going to be taking so many different projectiles from so many directions I don't really even know how to start dealing with this. I'm down to one health after that room. One health. Should have been a very simple straightforward room. This room might actually kill me. Uh, as long as my scapegoat does his job I'll be okay. I might even get a little bit of healing out of this one. Imagine that. Hey guys go back to my scapegoat. It worked for a second. Uh oh. I think in this room I should be able to get some healing. Uh, dealing with Larry here is going to be a pretty big issue for me. I think we'll be all right. As long as I stay ahead. These enemies are new but I get a new power up. Oh I don't want that one. I definitely want the one that keeps me healing. And another nightmare room, just for me. Look at this. Those things pop up randomly in random places, fire random projectiles, and I've got very limited movement. If it wasn't for my scapegoat, this room would absolutely be the end of me. They're all mostly focused on him. Every once in a while, one makes it over to me, and I can just kill it that way. My first item shop where I can actually buy something, and it's another stupid one that I just don't want to take. I just want passive items that sit there and give me power-ups. I don't want ones to replace my healing item. I need that one really badly. Managed to get full health plus that for the boss fight. And I have one extra thing of healing. Gertie is a nightmare to deal with though, so results may vary. So far it's not so bad. Trying to avoid the projectiles is kind of a nightmare, but once you see them coming, uh, not as bad. Whoops, don't walk into Gertie though. There was some small enemies I was using for healing. 
They seem to mostly be gone now, except for that one. Great. Suddenly, this is kind of falling apart on me. I was doing so good. Am I going to do it? I got to kill it. Come on, kill Gertie. Got it. With half a heart to spare. In hindsight, I definitely could have done that a lot better, but now I've got faster shooting, so it should get a little bit easier for me. Only three more nightmare floors to get through before we fight the boss. And of course, I die as soon as I walk in the room because I'm swarmed by six different enemies I've never seen before. So I guess even with my overpowered healing, still a very hard game. Lots and lots of potential with all those power-ups, though.